Well, I initially resisted this. I'd got my degree from university uh, in classics and I ran away. I ran away from studying and went and taught English as a foreign language in Naples. But I found I was really missing Plato above all. I kept going into the Biblioteca Nazionale to study Plato. And then when I got the offer of studying for a PhD with one of the most famous Plato uh, scholars and teachers in the whole world, I, I leapt at the chance. I think I'd name two. One was with three weeks to go until my deadline. Uh, my supervisor said he thought I needed a new chapter at the end. So I had to write a, a completely new chapter from scratch in three weeks um, and really didn't sleep for those weeks. So there's photos of me looking absolutely um, like I've sort of slept under a bush. I probably had slept under a bush. Uh, the other challenge, of course, is uh, I didn't have a lot of money. Most PhD students don't have a lot of money. I took on an enormous amount of teaching at various uh, uh, Cambridge colleges. And I, my, one of my chief memories is frantically cycling around in the rain to get to my next uh, supervision that I was giving. Just for the sheer uh, intellectual enjoyment of it, to satisfy your curiosity, to stretch yourself, and that will also hugely increase your confidence in what you can do. And then, of course, there are increasing numbers of jobs which really do require a PhD or where having a PhD will enormously uh, help you. So not just academia, but other forms of teaching, arts administration, uh, the civil service. There's all sorts of jobs where having a PhD can really help. Again, I'd give two tips. Absolutely make the most of all the opportunities you have to go and hear every visiting speaker from around the world to meet other people of like interests. I mean, that is something you'll never get again in quite the same way with the, the time to explore those friendships and relationships. The second tip is to take on a hobby which has nothing to do with academia, which just takes you away completely. Um, I did Egyptian dance. <laughs> I went along to the Women's Resource Centre in my university and uh, I was going to sign up for car maintenance but somehow Egyptian dance, slightly below it on the list, looked more alluring and it was fabulous uh, having a chance every week to meet a group of people who knew nothing about my subject and nothing about the university. That was fantastic.